All right, folks. Hey, welcome to the live stream event. Barricaded Sullivan rather than out there with a dash two. So, Edgar, you here to explain? Yes, if you saw those things that look like Reject Simpsons out there, those are known as SCP 3008 dash two. Dash two for short, harmless during the day, but incredibly volatile and dangerous during the evening. They have above you average strength and they are incredibly hostile. Do not interact with them. If you hear them at night when these lights go out, say, the store is now closed, please vacate the premises. Thankfully, you all are safe in here. This settlement is fortified enough to survive them. How can you tell them that they're safe here when there was a murder less than 24 hours? Oh, geez, oh, 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 the murder has been contained. The murder has been contained. For reference, the murder is safely locked away in the bathroom in this containment cell. Buddy, we got people here! Don't help me! I'll help you! Come on. Please, you're all in danger! We're in danger. Did you just get trapped here? Yeah, we just came in through the door. I'm so sorry. Um, they're explaining what's going on. I don't want to help. We'll try to see if we can help you. After securing the camp in the shower and Edgar and Ren taking over watch for the, for the night, a couple hours later, we noticed that the body of Carter had been moved outside the settlement. So, I scanned the blood splatter from the scene of the crime with my foundation issued SCP scanner, which you are now intimately familiar with. Uh, at that moment, we figured out that there was anomalous material inside of that blood, which means that either Carter or Cam was anomalous. So, we went and we scanned Cam, since Cam was the only person we have here at this time. Um, turns out Cam is totally anomalous. Uh, we have decided to call it SCP-3008-3, uh, or dash threes for short. Essentially a mutation of the dash twos that you all have encountered outside. They still have the bloodlust and the need to kill as the dash twos, but they are human in book. So they're easily blended with all of us. Uh, unfortunately, since there was an accomplice, my theory is that they were as well the dash three where they were comfortable enough to exit our settlement during the dark hours. And that's why we had to scan all of you upon entry, because if they can blend in with humans, we just need to make sure that you all are humans yourselves. Speaking of humans, uh, I need to scan all of you all. Please line up. Okay, yeah, everyone line up. Uh, we should be getting my good side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. This uh, one is still trouble. Yeah. Uh, can you grab me another roll of tape? What? No, the last one was on yours. Okay. Well, I only have enough tape for one more scan. What? So where did it all go? I haven't got all the tape. I don't we have enough. I don't know, why are you all looking at me? Is you little- Oh, 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 also, none of you were here last night, so your alibis were pretty rock solid by that account. So please, do whatever you can to help us figure this out, and maybe we can even find a way out of this godforsaken place. Uh, we are on the verge of a breakthrough, folks, or at least I am. So if you all want to figure out this mystery pronto, come with me. I got something to say. And if you want to figure out this mystery right, come with us. Uh, is there just one help me find my fiance's murder accomplice? Like, I think that's the most important thing. Please come find me. We really have this pudding before you. Well, uh, hey, if you don't know what the fuck is going on, and you just want to have a little bit of time. Alright, we're back. What exactly is going on? They said you murdered somebody. Did you do that? You did? Do you think you deserve to be locked up for it? What do you think? I, I killed somebody. I mean, you seem kind of remorseful about it, kind of upset. I don't know. What are, what are your names? I'm Eric. Uh, I'm Ash. Ash? Yes, hello. Hi. I'm, I'm Kim. Um, I, I killed him. Yeah. I don't know why I did it. I'm a staff member of the IKEA, but I, I don't. 
I don't know why I did it. I, I've lived with these people for two years and I haven't killed anybody all this time. You can be surprised how often that's the case. Yeah. What happened to your shoulder there? He told me that he scratched me when I came at him. Um, it's kind of fuzzy, and I really want to help figure out what happened because they're seeing someone move the body, right? I guess so. So that means that somebody might have, like, like, Maybe, or, or at least somebody else wanted to put her dead, and so they might still be a danger. Did you get injured before or after the murder? I think during. You think during? Yeah. Mm. I think it was like a defensive wounds. Of course. Um, that's... But, yeah. Um, listen, I really want to help figure all of this out, but it, it's kind of hard when everybody's looking at me like a, like a monster. Yeah, understandable. I know I'm not a human, but could you maybe tell them that I want to help and see how they respond? Oh, 100%. If they, if they want my help, then I'm happy to give it any way that they think is useful. Yeah. And what was your name again? Cam. Cam. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry I can't shake your hand. Yeah, yeah of course. Tough situation. I, I understand. Yeah. Um, who should I, who should I go and tell? I want to take care of the foundation are really responsible. So there's two reasons. Do you know who they are? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. Yeah, the two researchers are the two security personnel. I'm not sure that they have a plan to figure out anything out, so maybe tell them. Got it. We'll do. Okay. All right. Thank you, Cam. All right, chat. So we are trying to solve this murder mystery inside an infinite IKEA. SCP-3008, trying to figure out who done it, trying to get out of here alive, trying to make sure no one else gets killed. It's a little loud here, so I'm gonna wander around. But uh, thanks for joining us. What do we got in here? Oh, hello. hello. Hi, uh, I'm Iris, uh, this is my bedroom. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay, uh, what's your name? My name's Eric. Eric? Yep. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Iris. Yeah, sorry to welcome you in in such an uh, emergency situation. Yeah, it's kind of trying times. A murder accomplice on the loose and a mall out of, you know, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Have you been in this IKEA long? Yeah, I've been here for almost two years now. Yeah? Unfortunately, yeah. Well, you've made yourself a nice home. <laughs> Thank you. We do what we can. This was Carter and I's bedroom, but now I guess it's just my bedroom now that he's gone. Um, Carter's, sorry. Carter's my late fiance who was murdered last he's, night. He was the late fiance who was murdered. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who the murder accomplice could have been. Um, as the researchers mentioned, um, somebody moved the body late last night, so I'm just trying to figure out who could have done that. And no one knows who moved the body? No, well, at least nobody's saying that. Yeah, of course. Uh, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Iris. Great to meet you. Um, I was just speaking with Eric about how I'm trying to figure out who moved the body last night. Um, the murder happened around 2.30 a.m., and we're thinking that the body was moved somewhere between 3 to 4 a.m. So I'm just trying to figure out where everybody was during that time. And then, and then um, it was moved around what time? It was moved around, we think, in the hour between 3 to 4 a.m. And the murder happened around 2.30. I'm trying to figure out where everybody was during that time, so I feel like that'll be a way to figure out who was alone. But no one's really telling me the truth, and everyone's just been yelling at me all morning about it, so I haven't been able to get anywhere. But seeing as you guys are new here, and you guys are deemed human, Maybe the other members here don't trust you more than they trust me. So if you guys find out any alibis, where people are, or if anyone just gives you a weird vibe, feels a little suspicious, let me know. Awesome. I'm really trying to get to the bottom of this. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the immediate floor off the bat is strange. But if that's the case, may I ask? Yes, of course. Where were you around three four? Yeah, um, I was with Izzy. Um, Izzy's the homeless looking man over there in the corner with the blue eye suit or jacket. Uh, he's really sweet though, I promise. Um, I'm really close with him, and after the murder of my fiance, he was comforting me. He seems kind of stressed out. I mean, obviously someone got murdered, but he seemed a little on edge. Me? The, uh, him. Oh, him. The other guy. I mean, I feel like we're all pretty stressed out. He did immediately, I, I, I hate to say it, but immediately point fingers at himself when he immediately said, why, why are you all looking at me? Right? I mean, he's just a little, yeah. uh, you know, he's been here for over 10 years. Oh. So, you know, things... 
I understand. I understand. Yeah, sometimes I can drive you a little bit. I feel like uh, 10 years trapped in a picture perfect house would uh, we'll drive you a little mad. Yeah, yeah I understand. No, of course. But I mean, if you think he's suspicious, I can't rule anybody out. So. Of course, of course. But I mean, it does mean, it does mean that he does have an alibi at the moment. Uh, thank you. Yeah, of course. And if you find out anything else, please let me know. Of course. Hi. Hi. Excuse us. Let's squeeze on through. We gotta find a quiet corner here. All oh, right, so we're trying to figure out who the murderer is in this infinite IKEA here. Uh, people who are just joining the chat, we're in an infinite IKEA SCP 3008, and somebody's been murdered. We are trying to figure out who that was, not who that was, but why it was done, and who the murderer is. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.